No, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, Central California. Um, what are we doing today? Well, I got a fiber problem, I think. I got a switch that uh, one of the ports keeps going offline. And if I stack the, check the status of it, it says down due to link flap. Um, so what I'm going to do to try to troubleshoot this is um, the first thing I've done to try to troubleshoot it first is I, I'll go in and I'll shut the interface down and then do a no shut on it. And then I'll bring it back up. And as I'm watching, I can see CRC errors incrementing. So what I'm going to try to do is uh, see if I can stop that from happening. And the first thing I need is my book, which I left over here. I need my book because I wrote down which port I need to check. So, yeah, old school. All right, core switch 2, interface 2.4. So I am going to get in here. And somebody's in here working. These are brand new patch panels. And my problem seems to be on core switch 2 which is here, port two, interface 2-4, so the cards go 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2-4 would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So odd on the top, even on the bottom. And this guy I can see is already, it's down. So let me open this guy up. What I'm going to do Wow, that's tight. No wonder you're having problems. I'm going to reseat it first of all. And then we will see what happens. So, pardon me, I'll be right back. I'm going to go check the uh, interface and uh, See if it's still generating CRC errors. Well, I'm going to have to bring it up first because I can see it's down. So, be right back. I'll be right back. All right. After knocking down the camera and all that good stuff, I'm back. And so what I did is, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but what I did here is I basically said, show interface gig state, and then I piped it to include link flap. So it showed me that port 24 was up down, administratively up, operationally down, due to link flap. So what I did is I went into the configuration mode, changed to that uh, interface, did a shut and a no shut, also known as bouncing, bouncing. And then um, I checked the status of it again, showed it was up. So that's on this end of the switch, uh, the link this end of the link. Then I went to the other end of the link to check and see if it was up. And it already shows that it's down, I think. Let's see. Yeah, link state's ready. It's not showing as active. So that didn't seem to do a thing. Let's double check here. Nope, says it's up. Am I looking at the wrong one? Might be looking at the wrong one. Hang on a second. Let me set you down. Uh, actually, let me put you on pause. I'll be right back. Yeah, so I had a brain fart as usual. Link state is active. I was getting it confused with ready. Um, so it is active. Um, you can see it's getting some pretty good CRC errors, 4,500. And fragments, 51. Jabbers, 4. Um, and I think that's just from the fiber being loose. It's kind of rattling in there. And uh, it's causing these errors. So what I'm going to do is zero these out by pressing the number zero. Okay, now it zeroed out the counters. And uh, we're just going to sit and watch them for a second and see if they start incrementing again. It generally doesn't take too long um, unless, you know, by I got lucky and this, this end of the fiber link was the problem. Um, that could be, but uh, you never know. 
that's one of the biggest problems I have here still are my fiber links from um, usually from here in the data center out to uh, the switches out in the hospital. Um, some of the fiber runs are quite long. Uh, these links should be able to handle it, These uh, the GBICs I have. Um, but still, we've got quite a few that we get these CRC errors and it just starts jumping around, jumping around and causes issues, causes the, the, the link to go down. Um, because we have two redundant links from here, there we go, from here, from this switch out to that switch. So we've got two fiber links from, so we'll go from 2.4 and 4.4, interface 2, inter, or card 2, card 4, interface 4, interface 4. So those two will go out to uh, the top switch in the stack out there. And then this guy's mate down in the MDF will also do the same thing. Same card, same ports to make it easy. Um, that goes out to the same thing. So as we've got four fiber pairs going out there, so eight fibers total. As long as one of those fiber pairs is up, we're okay. And it looks like we're still doing pretty good here. So you can see. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. We're still not getting any errors. It's still active. So we'll call this one good for now, but I know there's more. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think the problem is uh, Jose is installing these new fiber patches and he's bumping these fiber cables. And here's one problem is my boss likes nice and neat fibers, but she'll put these, sometimes she'll put really tight bends in it here I've tried my best to, to make it so they're not really tight bends. You want a nice radius when it comes to fiber. And she jams them into this thing. And you can see they make a pretty abrupt turn on some of them. And that's why these things go offline a lot. So this this guy was, where was he? Two, four? One, two, three, four. So it was this one down here at the bottom that guy and so what I tried to do is you can see I just kind of pulled it out a little bit and see if that's gonna help so far it has we're still you know at zero let's see what the uh, all the interfaces look like together so that is all four of the uplinks into that switch so we got two going into the top switch on the stack and two going into the bottom switch on the stack um, and those ports are all configured as uh, aggregate ports so and they're all staying up right now so well <laughs> that's going to be another short video i'll uh, i'll post an update um and let you know if it stayed up or not but for now i'm going to call it good that was i'm sorry that was too easy I thought for sure we were going to have to walk down to the other end and uh, start troubleshooting down there. So, well, you know what? Since this video is so short, let me put you on pause and we will walk to the other end just so you can see what's down there. So sit tight, uh, grab a cup of coffee. I'll be back in a fraction of a second. Just real quick. I'm just walking over between buildings. Here's where all the executives sit in there. There's the old hospital. And there's the new hospital. But oh man, what a beautiful day. Can you believe it's mid-June here in Central California and I am still wearing a jacket? That is just weird. The uh, temperatures are unseasonably cold. So, but what a beautiful day. Anyway, be back to you guys in a minute. All right, here I am at the, uh, the NICU. Man, isn't this room nice? I'm sorry, the NICU, Neonatal Intensive, Intensive Care Unit. But, oh, man, this is one of my favorite closets. It is so clean in here, so nice. And, uh, oh, man, I love my wiring there. I know that's not very humble, but I love my wiring. Um, 
So switch 128. So yeah, this is, it's this bottom stack that's been giving us the problems. And the interface is this guy. And I'm not even going to touch it because I'm not even going to breathe on it. But it's this top fiber pair here that goes back to where we just were. So that's the other end. Yeah, the fiber goes in here, it goes up here, it goes over here. That's the fiber patch panel that goes with the run, goes back to the data center. So, yep, everything seems to be staying up. The interface lights are still blinking. So blinking lights are always a good sign. That's good. You can see. Hopefully you can see on the camera. Hopefully the, the refresh rate works. Looks like you can see it. So yeah, they're blinking, they're good. And as long as I'm here, a little description of what we're looking at. So this patch panel over here is for um, patient phones that on their bedsides. Um, there's not too many of them here. You can see most of this panel is empty. There's like uh, 10 phones up there. Um, that's because this is, like I said, this is the neonatal intensive care unit. So there's no like, patients wanting to use the phone yet. They're not 13 yet. Um, so yeah, these, these phones are mostly just for like the areas where there's, uh, we have the calm family bonding rooms um, where uh, moms and dads can spend time with their new baby and they'll have uh, phones in there so they can call grandma, grandpa, cousins, whoever. Uh, like I said, that's the fiber patch panel that goes back to us. Got some cable management here. Um, and just like I said, these, these are the switches. We do patch panel switch, patch panel switch. So here's the patch panel and it's going to be wired into the switch directly below it. Um, you'll see some orange cables scattered here and there. That's the Philips network. That is another, that used to be a completely vendor managed network. Um, but to save a few nickels and dimes, probably a lot more than that. Um, our hospital elected to go to uh, us managing the network on it. So you'll see that would have been a Cisco switch before. Um, but you can see it's just yet another extreme purple box. But you see the wires are orange. And we do that for a reason. So that we, uh, we could differentiate. We used to, <laughs> So we could differentiate before the Philips. It was managed by Philips. The Philips managed network. If it had an orange wire, we wouldn't touch it. Now the orange wire is just tradition. We, we touch it. So Philips is a Dutch company, hence orange. I guess the Dutch like orange. I'm Dutch. You know that? I'm Dutch. But I, I don't know about the whole orange thing. I'm not a, I like oranges, but I'm, I don't know. I don't know the... My family's been here for 300 years. Give me a break. So, so yeah, that's that's the Philips network. Now, if we were upstairs, you'd see a lot more devices here with with these orange cables going into them. It'd be their their wireless management stuff, and we still don't touch their wireless. Um, we just manage the wired side of the house. So anyway, uh, yeah. Oh man, like I said, I just love this this closet. It's just got capacity up the wazoo. We got ladder racks. We got tons of expansion those are all service loops for cables we can add later um the other thing we got back here like stuff for our nurse call system stuff for um our hug system that's a project i'm working there <laughs> that's a project i'm working on right now is to replace this hug system um hugs is what we use to uh, track newborns so they put a little bracelet on them and if that bracelet goes outside a door, an exterior door, it sets off alarms. And the hospital then resembles an anthill that's been kicked over with people running around everywhere looking for that baby that's been taken out without authorization. Um, so, yeah, that's the hug system. Nurse call. You guys know what nurse calls are. You need the nurse. You press a button. They come. And then over here, make sure I don't step on anything. Over here is DSX. Those are door controllers. Um, there's so many of them here because this is like a hub for the different doors around the building. And then we have uh, various and sundry um, fire alarm panels over there. And 
what is this? Yeah, that's that's more fire alarm stuff. So yeah. But all I got for this room. And then there's this this snazzy torque wrench, not torque wrench, uh, uh ratchet wrench. I don't know, I'm not sure what that does. I don't see like any oxygen supplies in here or anything like that, so I am not sure what that does. So yeah. All right, well anyway, that's all I got for this week. Um thanks for watching my rambling rambling. And uh as always, keep those comments coming. Uh, you got questions, ask. If you have suggestions, give them, especially when it comes to troubleshooting fiber, because um, I started back in the Ethernet days. I never was trained on fiber or anything. It's all just what I've learned as I've moved along. So anyway, that's all I got. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you want. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way is fine. And uh, really appreciate you guys out there. So as always, thanks for watching. Always give God the glory. Soli Deo Gloria. And uh, we'll catch you guys next week. God bless.